Hi everyone. Uh, I would like to welcome you the this part of the uh, tutorial on Java. And just learning te technology uh, that goes with the RMI remote method invocation. Uh, we're still working on a project uh, where we want to detect uh, the number of the citizen or mean detect who either being vaccinated or not in the in a certain government uh, we are assuming that this is an issue happened in COVID-19 2019 pandemic we're trying to resolve what can help to the government so it can detect the citizen who has been vaccinated or not depend on the identification okay so now uh, we're trying to configure last part we try to configure the the server by adding uh, we just tried to do the configuration of LMI on the server side where we added uh, let try to try to go to the uh, job application we do have from here so it does try to expand server side on the server side we do have the things uh, we try to have uh, under the controller we put the server so under the server we do have nothing as uh, except um, the things server that extend unicast remote object we're trying to make sure this server is able to be la to learn and then this one was working also we do have the all that's where we put our own implementation we do have for citizen DAO and the vaccination DAO so we do have model and the model that's where we put the, our entity with uh, those kind of the entity it has at entity and so on uh, remember this kind of the model is different with uh, the above one for this one they are actually different this one is the portal class only without at entity and so on because uh, a client will try to access a server that on the server that's where you have database but on the client that's not we that's not the place we do have this database and so on okay so we have service layer and the service layer that we have the interface citizen version interface also within the service layer we do have the implementation of this kind of the interface okay so that uh, we don't actually implement i mean we don't code on interface but we implement that kind of interface okay that's that's the, the kind of load okay nothing else so in this part we are still working on the number b and this kind of the question we are trying to to make sure user should be able to concurrently register the vaccinations and so on that means should be able to register the citizen should be able to uh they just to assign certain vaccination to the citizen according to the register the citizen nothing else okay so uh without taking much time i'm going to make sure the thing is going to be able to communicate and make it to the end okay and we do hope we're going to do too much of things in this video i hope uh you have much energy to, to follow and then uh well, i would like to go step by step so that you understand what's going on behind the scene and everything so uh, now uh we have let us go to the current side let's go to the current side uh, there's something i want to configure back on the server side but i wish so that we can develop something uh, and then is we see if we get error if we get error we try to solve those kind of the errors nothing else okay that time will be good so <clears throat> now we're going to go to the view under the view we have citizen registry let us start working for the citizen registry that means we want to configure this one of the citizen registry so that they are able to communicate of course there's something i want to configure on the server side because i'm going to change something on the rmi configuration but i do hope you have configured each and everything in the previous part so you come to you go together in this one so kindly if you don't do anything or you didn't watch the previous part kindly go there and watch it then okay so we're going to configure this kind of the register where we're going to grab all the information we do from here and then save to the format of the database. So now we're going to go to the right click, we go to the event, then action to be performed. Then when we reach there, you can see we don't have anything in this kind of the register button. The first one, uh, of course, whatever the thing we're going to do, you need to do what you call the validation stuff, okay? You need to do what called the validations. If you've done the validation, now you can able to save to the database. I'm going to pre-make sure those sample things that I'm going to make sure 
the citizen ID has been provided, the phone name, phone number. That means I want to make sure these fields are null so that we don't save null values, okay? Those are the things we're going to do that. So that means I'm going to say, uh, we can say if, um, we're going to, we can grab the citizen ID, can say, that start with the validation citizen.get text. After grading text, now we can check, does it go to null, okay? You can say dot echo, uh, equal to null, okay? This one, we can put this one like this way, but this one is not perfect one because the time user can put space and then space is a character, is not null, but we don't have that, we don't need to do that thing. We just need to say, is it empty? Just use, is it empty? That, that's what it's going to return either true or false if there's nothing there, okay? So not only that, also one of them or either phone name, text dot get text, that's grab text, and then dot is it empty? Not on that last three letters have um it is last name. That's the one we do have from here. Is it last name? Uh phone number. Those one was phone name, phone number, phone number text. Uh, now let us try to minimize these guys. So okay dot get text you grab text the same the same thing dot is it empty now if it's empty it has pride to carry blesses hit enter now i'm going to say i'm going to give a, a message Joshua pen uh, <coughs> dot show message is going to be a morning message to say this one is going to be the warning message you're going to say this and then you say um uh, kindly provide our information okay this is the simplest one but we can go ahead and specify the job and header we say empty field error can have empty field this is going to be the title and then we need to specify also uh the the icon icon that i want to use that means i'm going to say this is going to be let us say ella let us say this is going to be ella message that means you can see we just provide that means i'm referring on this class we specify the message you're going to give to the user this is the header of the option pen this is the ella message option pen dot ella message okay now if you go like this way i'm going to check on one you can go ahead and try to configure for the citizen id if you have been given like citizen id should have five characters that means you need to configure that one okay so else we good now to save to the, to the database you can have an information from here that's i'm going to just copy and then paste down here i'm going just to paste down here say um registered successful successful so that means this one is going to be successful nothing else and then it's, it's no longer error message is going to be information message okay we good that means we're informing something so now let us try to run this file for the citizen one and then if we try to run the file it's going to happen Okay, we can try to register. If we click register, of course, you can see can you provide all information. That means you can see just giving me error message because I didn't provide anything. If I put something here and then I forgot one, it's going to still say, please provide something. Otherwise, if I provide each and everything we do need, register successful. Even you can go and check if the phone number exacts the numbers instead of the characters. Okay, you can do that. So now for us, we're going to make sure Wherever I have successful, that's where you're going to, to call the server on the server side to save data to the database, okay? How can we do that? I'm going to generate some errors so that if you just mess, we, we, we just meet with this kind of the error, you know how to solve it actually, okay? That's all. Um, so the first thing, uh, let us try to do something here. I'm going to make sure uh, these guys, they're able to 
is able to, to save to the database, nothing else. That's what you're looking for. And then we're good to go. So here we go. Uh, on this server side, I mean on the current side, what you're going to do, we need to try to check uh, the information you have from here. Let us go on. The first one, we need surround div try and catch. Once surround div try and catch. It has catch all exception that can be laced so that we don't miss anything or don't mess up dot print stack trace. Okay, now you come here. So the first one we're going to use the registry. We need to first to grab the bind. Do you remember the port number we deserved? So we need to use the register we created. Now we get that kind of the registry, okay? So we need to locate it. That's the thing we use registry. And then a control space that can be imported automatically from Java LMI. So now we come say registry. And then it says it's going to be locate. Locate registry. Locate registry dot. Now we need to get instead of the create, okay? Get reg registry. And then we specify the first one. Do you remember we specify this one is going to be on localhost 0 .0 0.0.1 and then we specify the port number. The port number was 7000, okay? If you don't remember actually, can you go ahead and try to check on the server side? We just say it's going to run on this kind of the localhost also on the south on the port six and seven south down. that's the port we are just reserving and i think else okay we're good to go now after having this one we need because we have the interface on server side we have an interface on the server side you see we, under the service we have uh we have citizen interface also we have vaccine interface so we're going to go ahead on this one we're going to create, uh, we're going to, to make sure so that we're going to use the, those kind of the interface so that we'll be able to communicate. So this one I'm going to say, I'm going to say because we just want to register the citizen, it has called the citizen interface, this one. And then we say, it has say interface. And then it's going to be, um, of course, we're going to use the registry from here. It's going to be, um, registry created dot lookup we need to look up exactly uh do you remember the keyword we put on the server side we just say client okay we need to to check wherever i have the client so that we can grab the connection but they won't say something uh incompatible type uh interface cannot be converted to the citizen interface that means i mean uh remote cannot be converted we need to do what called type casting just come here add citizen interface you're done that's how we do type casting after having this one we need to grab all the information the user type to so that we can save those kind of the information on the database that means we need to create uh by using the model class we do have from here you can see we do have model we have this kind of the model uh or model we have citizen id phone name phone number okay um but i was some having i was having something in my head how can we know exactly if the, the citizen has been vaccinated or not? We can apply what you call some technical model. Or you can apply the Boolean value, say, is he or she vaccinated? That means if he's vaccinated, we update to be, nah, I mean, we update something, okay? So that we are going to use that one to know exactly who's been vaccinated or not. Or we can leave it. We're never going to retrieve the ID direct or the vaccination. You can use, use them, we know exactly who is vaccinated or not but but the better to, to have this one I, i'm going to just create something i'm on both model and on citizen on the mob on current side and the server side i'm going to have private private uh boolean is vaccinated okay just having this kind of the boolean nothing else is he is he or she vaccinated if he's vaccinated, we're good to go. Otherwise, we configure something. So uh, allow me just come here. It has just generate get and setters. It has generate getters and setters for that kind of the boolean. It has generate this one. Also, let, let me just copy and then save this one. It has got the model. Um, Okay, oh, 
just oz it there then in a body so it does make it sure that the same like this way is vaccinated okay can you move this one so that you can generate insert codes okay check if you have it there or not i don't remember what we did in the previous video okay now we save we save and then let us back to the citizen registry we're going to create by using this kind of the model we're going to have citizen i'm going to have citizen control space again we need to come citizen from model okay we're going to say citizen and then it's going to be new citizen okay uh, okay now after having this one we're going to say citizen first uh dot we're going to set now some data I'm going to set citizen ID. The citizen ID is going to come from where? It's going to come from citizen the text field from ID text field dot get text. We get the text and then you're good to go. And then we use citizen again uh, dot set. I'm going to set now four names and then it's going to be four names text dot get text. We grab text. Uh, last three but not least we're going to have also we're going to set a uh, phone number and then it's going to be phone number from text dot get dot get text and then after having this one also we're going to set something by default we're going to set uh is is it vaccinated i mean is he or she vaccinated by default by default when you're just when we're registering user by default is he or she is not vaccinated okay and then after having this one now we're going to call interface dot uh, do you remember under the interface of the citizen interface right here we do have uh register citizen is returning string that is going to be the feedback is going to return right so it has come here i'm going to say it has have string say feedback and then say interface this one we created here this one we created here, we just paste here, then we say dot register citizen and then we pass the citizen and then we good. That's how we're going to do this one. Then allow me to, to cut this one. Allow me to cut this one so that we can have under the try and catch. It has cut and it paste down here after the feedback. And then we're going to grab the feedback comes from the server side and then it should be right here. Okay, we good. Now the the things that come to come from the server side that's the one we're going to use. Okay, after having this one, uh, let us try to see if we can really able to save data to the database, nothing else. Okay, and then if we come up with some errors, we go to solve that kind of the errors, nothing else. Okay, here we go. So the first one, uh, you can see there's nothing running. Of course, before doing anything else, you have to make sure the server is running, right? I have to make sure server is running. Let us go to the server side. Uh, on citizen DAO, what happened here? Okay. Okay, now on the server side, let us have java.ramido.server.hostname 7000. Let us run this kind of the one. You can see this, remember the client, that's the key we are just trying to find. Now let us run the file. Now they won't say the, the server is running on this kind of the port, okay? Now let us go ahead, run this in registry. Uh, if we try to register, the not going to work because we need to provide all the information. Let us provide some ID one, two, three, Let's provide some phone names. It does have some phone number. And then you click, it does have many of them. Let us click register. Oops, there's some error. You can see we have server side, also we have client side. This error is not happening on the server side. It's happening on client side. Then we'll say that class cast exception uh, cannot be cut to the server side citizen. Why? There's some errors because uh, when you try to go to the server, of course, how did it get this one? Let us go to this one. You can see this line, it'll happen on line 138. That means it has already uh, 
get the registry of this kind of depot. That means it's already there are certain communication between the server and the client. But when you try to reach this one, they'll say it's able to look up on this one, but it's not able to find out the implementation of the citizen interface. Because if you're trying to see uh, on the server side, there is no way, there is no way, there is no way uh, this one is able to communicate with those kind of the implementation you have created here on the citizen implementation, you see? And the citizen implementation it didn't do anything else, okay? You can see we didn't do anything else. That means there is no way they're able to communicate. So how can we make sure they're able to communicate? That there is things we're going to configure right now, so let us uh, solve this issue. Uh, let us go to the server side. Uh, on the server side, we're going to create something else. Uh, but of course, let us first, I would, like, I, I would like to request you, let us go to the citizen implementation. Let us go to the citizen implementation. Um, uh, we're going to make sure, I'm going to modify something, but it's fine. Let us extend this class. Let us extend the unicast, uh, unicast remote object, as we did on server. Let us, ex this kind of the citizen implement, let us extend this class of the unicast remote object. After extending this one, so let us have a constructor, public citizen. Do you remember the constructor implementation? And then the constructor should throw a uh, remote exception. Remote exception, after having this one, let us go in, you can have this, dot. you can have super in the class or you can leave it, of course, by default, the super is there, okay? <clears throat> you can see we have citizen implementation. We can throw the remote exception, nothing else. We're good from here. So now, I would, let us back to the server side. On this server side, uh, we, we, there is no need to extend this kind of the unicast remote object because we know exactly the one that are extending this one. Allow me to delete this one. It's just modification, nothing else, okay? <clears throat> After deleting this one, let us have um, uh, let us have something else. Of course, they're saying so that uh, there are some errors incompatible server cannot be converted to the remote. Uh, we're going to configure that one later. So, but now on, <coughs> let us have something. Uh, we do have. Uh, we're going to say private. We need to call that kind of the implementation we have there. Okay, we have citizen implementation you need to call that kind of the implementation so that we can use it right here uh, of course we can have that kind of the interface but let us have citizen implementation and then we call it citizen implementation like this way okay now we can come here that means it is a citizen this, this is a private thing we are going to have here i can come here i don't have i don't want to complicate things how we can just create citizen implementation, we can grab the registry, we can look upon them on by using the implementation. I'm just trying to make things easier. So by having this one as citizen implementation, we can come and say this dot citizen implementation is going to be new citizen implement. That means we are initializing this one by using that kind of the constructor that is extending that one. Okay. Now I'm going to change something because we know this one is going to be the citizen. Let us just change the registry, the bind. Let us use citizen so that on the vaccine, we know exactly we can use the vaccine. And then when you say new server, we can say dot. Now I can call citizen implementation from here. You see, I can call this kind of the citizen implementation. Uh, I do have now on the my server side, on my server side, uh, I have, let us try to repeat what I did. I have a class called, I just remove the unicast and then we create uh, under the citizen implementation you have created, we just extend this kind of the unicast remote object uh, and after that we create this kind of the constructor that throwing the remote exceptions and then we back up on the server, we remove that kind of thing we put there, we create a new variable that's going to refer to the class of the citizen implementation. So under this kind of the private variable, we said under inside of the construct, said this dot citizen implementation dot new citizen implementation, and then it says then then we call this one, okay? So that's the thing we did. So uh, now let us try to go ahead. Let us try to quit both server. Let us quit this one. Now let us try to rerun server and the server. You can see server is running on this kind of the port. Uh, <clears throat> of course, uh, we're going to change also citizen 
under the, the client side, under the client side for the citizen registry. Uh, you see we have used it to look up on the client, we're going to use the citizen. So also, um, I think we're good. Now we are we're going to restart this kind of the one. Let us try to quit. And then now let us try to rerun this one to see if now there's any kind of data that can be released. Server is running, both things are running, okay? Both things are running, either server side or the client side. Let us provide some information here. Let's provide phone names, and then provide the phone number, and then click register. <coughs> okay, now comes with another error. They're saying that uh, java.rema marshall exception, error marshall exception argument nested exception. So what happened? So Java dot iron not, not serializable exception model dot citizen. So this one is happening on client side again. Okay, you see, on one four four. Let us go to the citizen registry. On line one four four, you see on one four four. On one four four, uh, we have citizen registry, citizen citizen. You can see we are trying to save this kind of the citizen. Okay. Um, I want to show you something. Uh, you can see this one, he, the error is just saying that. I hope you just messed with this kind of the error. Just need to select the, the class, nothing else. So you can see Java dot not selectable exception that on the model dot citizen. But this one it is happening uh, when we are calling on interface. That means when you call the interface, it goes with the information you got there and then save it to the database, okay? So now, the thing we're going to do now, I'm going to make sure the data are serializable, okay? How can we do make that one? The first one, I want to show you the good approach. When you go to the server side, when you go to the server side, you can see we have citizen.java. We need to do this one. You can see public class extend. We just need to extend uh, silly. I think um, this is an implementation. We just need to implement uh, Cellularizable. We just need to implement Yes, we need just to implement this kind of the class. This is an interface, of course. We just need to implement Cellularizable, okay? We're good from now here. But if I'm going to try again to insert the data, what's going to happen, okay? It will try to rename the file from here. I'm going to show you something. You just need to make sure, just try one by one so that you don't mess up, okay? If I provide some information again, I provide my name, and then provide some numbers, click register. You can see they're still having this kind of the issue. Why? We just implement serializable. Actually, this kind of the serializable, all the protected things being applied. If you are, your code is yours, you can go ahead implement if the thing's yours. You can make it to be serializable unless it's in your server, okay? The, the last thing we're going to come here, you see, we just implement this kind of the serializable on the server side only. We, because the thing is trying to communicate differently. We need to come here also on this kind of the citizen model. We just need to come here, we say implement serializable, okay? And then we save. Now let us refresh each and everything. Uh, we just quit. We rerun this one. Of course, we commit this one. Now we rerun the server. And then we can see we have each and everything from here. And uh, now let us try to see if we can save data to the database. Let us have something else from here. Let us try to see on the server side if there's something else. My name, phone number, and then you click register. Okay, now you can see now you're just calling on the high band things on the server side. It will try to see what's going to happen. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, all good. One, uh, there's some like exception. Okay, our uh, column is vaccinated, of relational citizen doesn't exist. Uh, okay, let us. Uh, change something that will say that is vaccinated is no longer there doesn't exist let's try to uh, to do something else uh, let me try to go 
on the my server side let us go to the database um, I'm going to check on the database if I do have something else there so it has go to the vaccination one I do hope remember the password okay that's what to see the tables no this one the public one go to the public table we have citizen let us let us remove them so that can be recreated again it's fine okay we good now uh, let us try to save again there's no need to relearn again because those one was on the server side actually you can see let's try to clear the screen so now let us try to save now information database okay okay let us run run the file on the current side uh, let us clear this one let us clear the screen okay so now we try to save see what's going to happen so now it has provide someone here we say and phone number and I click register let's see what's going to happen just saying okay legion citizen doesn't exist let i try to to remove if and everything okay great now let us try to learn stop each and everything they're saying that the table this is not available in database but that makes sense because the, the, the information they are no longer there when you go to the default package under the hibernate we have already configured uh, we do mapping done with the mapping we good now it has run the server again okay now it has run the citizen registry okay provide some information here <coughs> phone number then you click register okay 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 i can see now that i save successfully just uh, we're just messing around just to to make sure we rely the server nothing else so you can see uh data save successful and if we go on database if we go on the database one that try to see in database what's if there's some information there you can see table has been recreated by itself now it has viewed the data from this one you can see these guys has been vaccinated okay <coughs> and then can you see we have uh, this kind of the <coughs> information data from here is vaccinated you have true or false nothing here so now <coughs> uh, uh, the thing we're going to do now, <coughs> by default, there are four. Uh, <coughs> we're going to make sure now uh, we just need to, we we were able to register. I mean to to save citizen. We we done with that one. <coughs> the other thing uh, we're going to do uh, we're going to make sure we we are able to save vaccine interface. Okay. So uh, <coughs> the thing we're going to do as quick as we can. Let us try to see. okay we just try to see this one <coughs> uh the the thing i'm going to show you, i mean I'm, I'm going to give you an assignment on this the last of this part you, you're going to try <coughs> to work on this one because you, can, you have been seen we are able to save data to the database for the citizen you're going to try yourself you can see we just implemented on the citizen side even on implementation on this server try to think how can you do this one now how can you call the implementation of the vaccine what we did in the citizen by extended the unicast, try to go there, do them the same thing under the vaccine implementations too, and then come here also, call it right here, and then try to see if you can grab some information from here. So I think that's all for this part. Uh, we can just wait. Um, 
we are, we are, we are going to meet in the next part. Uh, now we are going to save uh, for the vaccine, vaccine information, and then we will be good to go with each and everything. So uh, thank you guys. See you in the next part.